Carson Drew. His number is KL57187. Hang on a minute. Carson Drew speaking. Hi, Dad. Well, I see you got to Titusville okay. I got your message. Is something wrong? No, everything's fine. I need to get some documents from a colleague over there. I thought since you were in the area, you could pick them up, save him paying postage. Sure. What's the address? He said he'd just leave them for you at the telegraph office. Just drive into town and look for Tubby Telegrams. He said you can't miss it. Will do. These papers are extremely important, Nancy. I will pick them up, Dad. Good. Remember, watch your gas gauge and get gas when you're low so you don't run out. And try to avoid potholes. The more you hit, the likely it is you'll wind up with a flat. Yes, Dad. And if you do get a flat, take it off and put on your spare. And then head straight to a gas station and get it fixed. Yes, yes Dad. Dad. All right, lecture over. Have you found out why Miss Crandall asked you to visit? Hmm. She wanted me to have you lock her mother's jewelry up in your safe. Only someone stole it before I could take it with me. Stole it? Good gosh. Good golly, Miss Molly. Leaping lizards, make like a boy scout and be prepared. That was right after the stove in the kitchen exploded. The stove exploded? Sounds to me like you'd be well advised to cut your visit there short. No, I want to find out what's going on. I have to find out what's going on. You have to? Well, yeah, you know. Emily just lost her mom, and she's worried about losing the inn, and her guardian's all wet when it comes to helping out, and... And the truth is, you are so curious that you feel like you'll absolutely burst if you don't find out why all these weird things have been happening, right? Yes. Don't worry, I know the feeling. You're a chip off the old block, I'm afraid. Well, as long as you're like me in one other way, you should be fine. What way is that, smart? Careful. I met Emily's guardian, Jane. What does a guardian do, anyway? Guard? The guardian is pretty much a surrogate parent. Jane is legally responsible for Emily's physical and financial well-being. Jane doesn't strike me as being the parental type. In fact, I get the impression she's in way over her head. Fortunately for her, it's not forever. Most guardianships end when the ward turns 18. Then both Jane and Emily will be free to do whatever they please. Thank you, Mr. Lawyer. If Emily sells the inn, will Jane get part of the profits? If she's Emily's guardian at the time of the sale, yes. Are you suggesting that Jane's primary motivation is greed? Good grief. Where did you get such a suspicious mind? I think it was from the person who has always told me that the best way to solve a problem is to look at all the possibilities, Dad. I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> if somebody says they're going to leave you something in their will and then doesn't, is there anything you can do about it? Not a thing. Whatever's in writing is the only thing that counts. Unless, of course, the will was tampered with or forged. And you can prove it. If not, you're out of luck. Why do you ask? Emily's neighbor, Josiah Crowley, told her and her mom that they were going to inherit part of his estate. But when he died, his will left everything to this ESP expert named Richard Topham. That's too bad, but this Crowley fellow was free to leave whatever he wanted to whomever he wanted, I'm afraid. People do change their minds, you know. Goodbye, Dad. Bye-bye. See you later. Is that a cat? What's this? Ooh, pies. <laughs> Yummy. And what can we do now? Let's go to town. We were gonna go to town. Do, 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 do. The year is 1930. We're driving a car. Driving. Ooh, that car I saw before is gone. Hmm. She's got a point. So how do we drive? Okay, so we move up. Okay. Try to get the space bar to park. No, I don't want to park. Okay, okay. I think I got the hang of this. 
Click to drop. Okay. Hold down the my, my, mouse. Okay, that's the print shop. I don't want to go to the print shop. That's the Rex, whatever that is. Ooh, public library. I like libraries. The, the bank. We have to go Hello, to the bank, I'm right? I'm looking for Jim Archer. Right through that door. Cool. Hello, are you Nancy Drew? No, I'm President Hoover. <laughs> Sounds like Emily called you. Yes, ma'am. Jim Archer. I'm founder, president, manager, and just about everything else you can name when it comes to this fine enterprise. I hear that some businesses aren't doing so well these days. Ever since the stock market crashed, one business after another has closed, including banks. President Hoover keeps saying that a recovery is just around the corner, but you have to wonder. Hmm. Is your bank doing okay? I'm happy to report that we're doing just fine, thank you. Excuse me. Main Street Bank, Jim Archer speaking. No, I don't. I'm sorry, but... Yes, I know, but... All right, then just bring it by. Aw, he looks sad. Sorry for the interruption. How can I help you? What just happened? Aw, oh, we can't ask about the phone call? Do you happen to know whether the jewelry Emily inherited from her mother was insured? Well, I know for a fact that it was not. Why? Because someone snuck into the inn today and stole it. Oh, no. I heard there'd been a fire in the kitchen, but... When it rains, it pours, doesn't it? I told Gloria not to let that policy lapse. Why did she let it lapse? She felt that since Josiah Crowley would be leaving her a large sum of money when he died, or so she thought, paying to insure her jewelry just wasn't necessary. Aww. How well did you know Josiah Crowley? Well enough for him to name me executor of his will. An executor is the person who makes sure the terms of a will are carried out. Hmm. Why do you think he wound up leaving Gloria nothing? I have no idea. Truth be told, He'd given me the impression that I would be well taken care of when he passed on, too. But when I finally read his will, it all went to Topham. Did Topham find the will? I bet Where you did. Where did Josiah and keep his will? It. He'd hidden it in a chest of drawers in his house. It took me months to find it. Oh. When he named me okay. executor, he said he'd tell me where it was hidden when the time was right. Whatever that meant. Hmm. The will you found in Josiah's house. Is it possible that Josiah didn't really write it? Well, the thought that it could be a forgery did cross my mind. But an expert verified that the will had been typed on Josiah's typewriter and signed in Josiah's hand. But Richard Topham lived in Josiah's house. He had access to his typewriter, and he could have copied his signature. Exactly as far as what the law I is concerned, thinking. the matter is closed, Miss Drew. But it's possible that Josiah's real will is still out there. Are you sure he never gave you any clue as to where he'd hidden his will? Whenever I asked him, he said he'd tell me when the time is right. Although, hmm. he got a safe deposit box here about three years ago. That's the same thing he told Emily. It must be a clue. Maybe that's where his real will is. Topham has tried to claim its contents, but he can't find the key. Hmm. Maybe he knows the real will could be in there. Only he wants to destroy it. Now, Miss Drew, I wouldn't go jumping to any conclusions. Hmm. Well, I'm jumping to them anyway. How did Josiah die? He was sitting in the public library reading when, apparently, his heart just decided it was time to stop. What was he reading? Yeah. His favorite book, The Makeup Secrets of Lon Chaney. Okay. How well do you no know No more Jane questions, Willoughby? sir. You know, Emily's guardian? Not well at all. Met her once or twice. Seemed a little... flighty. What was Emily's mom like? Had a good head on her shoulders. Friendly, too. Having a big slice of blueberry pie at the lilacan was always a real treat. It'd be nice if Emily could carry on the tradition, but times are just too tough. If she's smart, she'll sell before the bills start piling up. Hmm. I guess I'll be going. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Can we explore anything Don't here? you ever use this typewriter? That used to be Josiah Crowley's. It was the only thing he left me in his will. Naturally, it doesn't work. The keys always jam. Huh. October 9, 1929. Dear Mrs. Sheldon, here is the trivet I said you could borrow 
for your party at Twin Elms. Please take care of it because I will want it back someday. Your friend, Josiah C. I wonder if Josiah ever got his trivet back. Hmm, something to look into, I guess. But more importantly, what's a trivet? Can we examine any of these things? Who's Clara? Clara Pickford is this lonely old woman who comes in here every once in a while. Took a shine to me for some reason. Insisted on giving me that picture. 